Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, I love you guys so much. I got a lot of messages, so bear with me as I go through these messages with you because they might be uh, pertaining to something that you're going through or there's something significant about the message that I got, but it's a lot of messages, all right, basically um, it's all leading to one message. It's all leading back to the message uh, that you are a survivor, all right? That you're a natural born healer and empath. That uh, you have survived every single attack that has been sent to your life. Pay attention to your spirit owl. I keep hearing the owl all morning. I keep hearing the owl outside my window. So pay attention to your spirit owl, which is your intuition, all right? And your spiritual gifts. Your connection to the sun god. All right, so some of you guys have a powerful connection to the sun god Ra, and that's what I heard, powerful connection to ancient Egyptian ancestors, all right, to um, Basmet, Basmek, or something like that, ancient Egyptian goddess Basmet, can't really pronounce the name. I heard uh, Isis, you're connected to Isis. Isis was also a powerful healer, all right? And Isis had a lot of gifts that she got from um, Basmet or the sun god Ra, all right? So that's significant to somebody here, all right? And you're finding out the truth that your family members, elders, this could be elders in your family, they already knew that you were the light bearer in your family since you were young, all right, so they decided to do everything they could to destroy your confidence and steal your blessings piece by piece. They tried to stop God's plan in your life. They tried to manipulate you manipulate you into thinking that you weren't good enough, all right, that you were just a, a screw up, that you screwed up everything in your life, everything was your fault, that somehow you were not worthy of having something. They wanted you to believe that God doesn't favor you. They wanted you to believe that God outcasted you because they outcasted you, that there was something wrong with you because you were different, because you were unique, because you were genuine, because you, you were real. Wow. You didn't, you didn't keep up appearances for these people. Like sometimes this family could have came, like your family members could have always had these family gatherings, but they were all pretending to like one another and they never liked each other. And you just always felt awkward sitting there pretending with them. And that's what makes you different than them. You're not able to sit there and pretend. Wow. They wanted you to believe that God doesn't favor you. They wanted to put you on a, a dark path in your life to self-destruction. They have cursed themselves. And that's what I also heard. So when I was channeling this message for you guys, I also heard this song. And I don't even know this song. But I listened to it. And it's kind of creepy that it resonates. All right. So... It's called um, radioactive, all right? So something could be radioactive. Some radioactive energies are hitting the planet or something about radioactive, all right? Energy being sent to the earth. Imagine dragons, all right? So one of you guys or some of you guys, you got a powerful dragon spirit that protects you, all right? Some, something about this song says radioactive says it's by Imagine Dragons, whoever that is, but I heard it. And I wrote a couple of things down that, you know, couple of parts of the song because it might be significant all right so it says i'm waking up to ashes and dust so it's like i'm waking up to ash and dust oh i'm waking up all night in my chest oh, no, no, no. welcome to the new age to the new something about the new age all right the new age is now the age of aquarius the age of the truth the time of the truth on earth the waking up to the new age is basically like you waking up to the truth in your life. You waking up to your spiritual gifts. You waking up to all that is connected. You waking up that you are a being of light. You waking up that you live past lives, that you're a natural healer, that God chose you. You're waking up to it, all right? And this song, it says, um, I'm breathing in chemicals. I'm waking up to ash and dust. And then it says, I'm breathing in chemicals. And, and then checking out on the, on the prison, I'm um, checking out on the prison bus. Somebody could be getting out of prison or somebody could be headed to prison. That's significant. And I'm breathing in chemicals, chemical warfare. All right. There's some chemicals that you shouldn't be um, breathing these chemicals. This could be at your workplace. This could be in your community. This could be chemical warfare being used in, on, on you in your life throughout your life here. Wow. To poison you. 
And then um, also I was guided to tell you guys that you guys keep, keep, keep hitting the... You keep hitting the escape button, but I'm still like you feel like I keep hitting these the escape button, but I'm still here. So you guys, for somebody watching, you feel stuck. You feel stuck somewhere. You feel like it's hard for you to get out of this home, to find a new home, to move away from these people, to get out of this job or this contract. For somebody watching, you keep hitting the escape button, but you're still here. You could be trying to uh, forget about the past. You could be trying to heal from the past. You could be trying to do all you can to get these past people out of your energy. But every time you have a dream, these people are still here. They're showing up in your dreams or they're in your energy. Or you're still here. You're still having a hard time getting out of a contract, moving, relocating, or something like that. All right? Because the shirt that I'm wearing... The shirt that I'm wearing, it says that I keep trying to hit the escape button, but I'm still here. All right. So that's significant to somebody. Wow. So, yeah, like I said, they tried to destroy your life. So you would never believe in yourself. So you would think that you were actually crazy when you heard your ancestors talking to you. They wanted to for you to think that you were hearing these crazy voices in your head and you're crazy. So you wouldn't believe in whatever you were hearing. But now you know that's total garbage, and then you know that you're just clairaudient and psychic, and you know you were meant to use these abilities to master yourself and to uh, pretty much dodge all the obstacles that the karmics try to place in front of you. So you could use your intuition to tell you um, which turn to take, which choice to make, which way to go, all right, who to, who to trust and who not to trust. All right, so now you're getting used to paying attention to your voice in your head, your inner voice, your guidance that you have telepathically, uh, telepathic communication with you. And I said your royal ancestors from ancient Egypt for some of you guys watching. Somebody here was always going to be this person in your life. They're always going to wear a false mask because that's what I picked up. As soon as I, I picked this deck up, it's in the bottom of the deck here. All right, so yeah, this... This person's always going to be who they are. They're always going to be a shadow to you. They're always going to be a blockage to you. They're always going to be a hindrance to you because this person wasn't a karmic in your past life. This person plotted on you in your past life, male or female, all right? So, yeah, pay attention to that. So, let's get right into this energy, my loves. What is Spirit trying to tell you for this reading? Pay attention. I, I heard all systems fail, all systems down. All right, so that like somebody here, you could be working in an office, you could work somewhere. All of a sudden, there's a power outage. All of a sudden, there's sis, all systems are down. All, all the computers aren't working. You might have to go home early from work that day, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. It could be an internal problem with the systems or the data. It could be a hacker that uh, hacked into the whole system. There could be a hospital that's being hacked and they have a, a data breach and a lot of patients' information is being like, um, is at risk, all right, because these hackers, they hacked into this hospital system or your employ employer's computers and they was trying to get all your information, your medical records, your information, your whereabouts, your location, everything like that. That's significant to somebody here. If that happened, then you already know that this force that's been working against you is bigger than you even know. But your ancestors are even more powerful than they even know. That's what I'm getting. So when they try to hack into the system, all systems fail. So something happens where there's a power outage and they can't get your information. That's significant for somebody. Wow. All right. Something could be happening globally as well, I heard, where... uh. There's going to be a global reset because this is happening because there's other beings in the universe that are making this happen. They're shutting down the government. They're shutting down the anarchies in our, in our, in our lives that have been dictating over us. I have been putting, I mean, like they've been putting us in danger. All right. They've been experimenting on us as a people so that mm, they want to close my throat chakra. <coughs> mm -mm -mm. They want to know how they can control you, control everyone, to, dorm, to, to, to block your crown chakra, to block your God DNA, to block you from speaking up, to block you from leading up. They want to block you. They want to stop you. They want to silence you. So keep on going because you guys are being protected by a higher force of energy. Mm. 
All right. So be proud of yourselves. Be proud of your work. Be proud of your accomplishments. Be proud of everything that you have obtained for yourself all by yourself with no one's help because you have always been the giver. All right. So the universe is about to give back to you tenfold. Believe in that. Wake up feeling good in the morning. Wake up feeling um hopeful every day because if the devil can steal your hope, he can steal your joy. If you have no more hope, if you have nothing left, if you're ready to give up and think that nothing good is coming, then the devil has won. So that's what I'm saying. Enlighten yourself to that. We're all connected. All right. We're all connected to one God and one source of energy and light. All right. We just have to know what we know. Do your research. Gain the knowledge. Gain the wisdom. All right. Because somebody here has been guiding people in the wrong path. And you could have been listening to this person or this somebody could be telling people that, um, <clears throat> you know, because you're a healer. Because you have abilities to protect yourself from the ones you love, because you can create medicines and with herbs, because you can heal others with your hands, because you are clairaudient and psychic, that you're a witch. But don't get it twisted. A witch and an empath healer is two different things. Yes, there's a such thing as a healer having abilities, magical powers, and gifts just like a witch. But the thing, the difference between a witch and a healer is that a healer believes in God first. A healer doesn't have to go get a witch pot and do a whole bunch of spell work to get what she has or he has. All you have to do is heal yourself, think positive thoughts, and be on a higher vibration and everything comes to you naturally. And that's the difference between a healer and a witch, okay? For anybody watching, all right? You still believe in God. You're, so be proud of yourself because they really wanted you to put your feet in the muddy water. So whoever this is, something about muddy water could be significant, Somebody's basement could be flooding all of a sudden, or muddy water, the, the foundation could be rotting. Muddy water could be you walk out, out, out of your car and you step in a, a puddle of muddy water, all right? That's significant or symbolic. That somebody wants you to put your, put your feet in the muddy water. They want you to go on the dark side. They want you to go in the darkness. Yeah, they, they, somebody's really studying you. They want to study you. I, I seen a beautiful butterfly in my dream last night, right? And in my dream, it was a lot of weird things were going on in my dream, all right? I, I was in a dream. I was in a forest. There was a lot of people, and we were all surviving, all right? We were out there surviving in this, in, in, the, in the woods or the forest. Something happened on Earth where there was a major catastrophe. So we were all surviving, every man for themselves type of energy, like the Hunger Games, all right? So we had to go find these supplies and food and packages and everybody, there was people trying to take other people out for the supplies and the packages. So something significant about that too. There's a shortage or something like that. Or the matrix wants you to think that there's a shortage and you're not going to have enough when, you know, the things that you need. It's all a mind game. Somebody wants you to feel like there's a shortage in your life. That's all a mind game. You don't have to compete for whatever's yours. All right. And in the dream, there was a beautiful butterfly, yellow and black. That could be significant to somebody. And, and when I tried to uh, catch the butterfly or let, like put the butterfly in my hand, the butterfly's wing fell off. And I was just freaking out because the butterfly's wing fell off and then I woke up. All right? So, yeah, somebody's trying to uh, invade your dream. Like, make something bad happen in your dream so when you wake up, you feel disoriented during the day. Transmute that energy. But a butterfly is significant. Somebody here has... A butterfly spirit animal or a butterfly uh, tattoo or loves butterflies. You could be seeing this butterfly. This is synchronistic. You could be finding feathers. If you're finding a feather or feathers, yes, that means that you're protected and that's good luck. And take that feather home with you and put it with your ancestors and make a wish on that feather. Staying connected with your ancestors is the key for you to get through everything that you need to get through. All the obstacles they're trying to put in front of you, all the challenges. Keep on believing in yourself. Keep on believing in who you are. Keep on believing in the most high that is working miracles in your life. All right? Thank you, spirit. Wow. Yes. Initiation because you've been initiated. Like I said, the new age, you woke up to everything. You've been initiated. All right? So your ancestors, they're depending on you to get through this spiritual battle. Your ancestors are depending on you to make the right choice. Your ancestors are depending on you to free them in the spirit realm by breaking some major generational curse for your lineage. That's why they're trying to stop you so hard. But you're receiving a windfall of blessings and abundance, the sunflower energy. All right? You could love sunflowers. Sunflowers are significant here. Somebody has a portrait or a picture with sunflowers on it, all right? That brightens up your mood when you look at it or something like that. Putting beautiful art in your home, creating a vibe, 
protection. You're protected. You have divine protection from way back in time in ancient Egyptian days. Like, seriously, you are protected. All right? Yeah, somebody was very foolish and they got casted out of your energy. This They cursed themselves. I heard that. I heard that again. You unlocked your gifts. You're unlocking your gifts. You're getting a major key, all right? A skeleton key could be significant, but you're getting a key here that's going to bring you great fortune, all right? So keep believing in this. You're going to get a key. You're going to relocate a home, a car, a business, a property, something uh, tangible here, a key. You're initiated here. Wow, that's crazy. Let me get some tarot cards, my beautiful loves. I heard Levi. Lionel. Laura or Lauren. Katie. Kimberly. Franklin. What is the message you have for the beautiful Aries and what's the energy coming towards them? Keep on believing in yourself. Yes. Somebody wants you to be nostalgic and somebody wants you to be in this energy. Nothing is working out for me. Nothing is going in my favor. Uh, I can't stand this life. Oh, my God. Yeah. Pull back your energy. Get out of your head. Calm down your head. Get that voice out of your head that's telling you that. Because that is a projection of somebody else's thoughts for your life. Somebody wants to completely destroy your happiness right now so pay attention a pisces cancer scorpio is feeling left out of your energy as well because they sabotage your whole connection because this person was too busy in a competition with you too busy trying to get a one-up on you too busy trying to find somebody better than you too busy trying to make you feel left out in the cold now this is their energy wow okay that's their energy now what's going on yeah mm mm yeah, because they teamed up with somebody that they shouldn't have. That high priestess in the reverse. This is what I'm talking about. There's a difference between an empath healer and a dark witch. This is the difference. Is that they're using their gifts to manipulate energies. They're using their gifts for the wrong reason. They're not believing in God. They're believing in the devil that gave them these powers. That's the problem. That's the, that's the difference. All right, that's the difference with this dark high priestess. This could be a Pisces because that's Pisces energy with the letter B or J under judgment. I heard Blanca, Bianca, Brandy, Bernard, Bridget. I heard Bridget. All right, nine of cups in the reverse. They sabotage their own blessing when they when they betrayed you. They sabotage their own blessings when they try to come against you. Now they're in fear, now they're shook, now they know you're too powerful because you're standing firm and your foundation is protected. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Scorpio energy in the reverse. The Scorpio wants to resurrect a connection with you, but you're too busy moving on to, uh, you're like moving to calmer waters, you're moving to, towards your victory, towards your success. A lot of wands in this energy, too. There's a fire sign that wants victory and success with you. A fire sign that for somebody watching that you were meant to have a strong connection with. Aries, Leo, Sag. Knight of Swords rushing towards you with some communication. All right? Because you're walked away. Because you're walking away. Or the Knight of Swords walked away from a karmic situation. Now they're rushing towards you. Some A Knight of Swords could have woke up to the truth. They're no longer stuck in mental prison. The angels woke this person up in order for this person to do the right thing and tell you the truth about what they know, about what was going on the whole time when this person was being uh, manipulated to uh, believe some lies about you or do something this person should have never did. Now this person's had an out-of-body experience. They're coming towards you with the temperance card. The angels are leading this person right to you. All right, because the queen of swords thought that she manipulated this person or the queen of swords thought that she got a one-up on you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A Taurus energy. No, they did not. All right? All they did was get some bad karma for themselves, curse themselves, and now they have legal issue or situations playing out. Mm -mm. All right, spirit. What is the message? What do you have for the beautiful Aries? All right, yeah, somebody's secretly watching you, everything you do, everything you do every day. This person's checking on your social media. Whether you have a platform, whatever you have online, they're checking up on you every single day. 
this person is like an obsessed fan of yours, but they low key uh criticize everything you do. If you've seen the red cardinal, congratulations. If you've been waiting on something to come through for you, then it's gonna come. Whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's moving away, whether it's an opportunity. But this red cardinal is giving you that sign. All right. If you lit a candle, this is significant for someone. If you lit a candle and your candle turned black, really black, and you got freaked out, don't worry. It's because somebody did candle magic on you, and the candle picked it up, and it backfires now. Wow. Yeah, this is a dark-skinned female, or you are a dark-skinned female. This person um, is obsessed with the fact that you're doing good, you got a new business, and you're headed for success. All right? This dark-skinned female could be you or someone you're dealing with. Yeah, somebody's not going to be hiding their sexual desires. Somebody is confessing that they're gay to you or to someone else. All right? Because somebody could be attracted to you or someone else that they're attracted to, but they don't know. This person doesn't know that this person is attracted to them or you. All right? So somebody's just going to come out and confess that they're actually gay. All right? I'm going to marry you. Somebody really is determined to marry you. A fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. This person drives past your house. Fire sign soulmate is coming for somebody watching. Okay. Your house could be surrounded by all kind of animals for somebody here. Or you have a lot of birds surrounding your home. The squirrels. There's a bunch of animals around your property. They're gravitating towards your home. They're gravitating towards you. Because like I said, you are a born healer. You are connected to powerful ancestors. In your past life, you were a healer. And, and your vibration is pure. Wow, your aura is pure. All right? And the animals can see that. They can feel that. Brown eyes. Somebody has brown eyes. Somebody's planning to try to steal your ID. Be careful. Somebody really needs this information. You have a gifted son or daughter or both. I heard Samuel Adams. Somebody could be drinking Samuel Adams beer or somebody's name is Adams or Samuel. I heard Winchester's. Or well, wind chimes could be significant. You need to get some wind chimes or somebody has wind chimes. All right. Somebody's bringing you a gift, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Wow. This person's being exposed for being a scammer or hacker or trying to do something fraudulent in your energy. Ooh. Somebody's being released from jail or they're going to jail. Karmic mom is exposed and ex was involved here. Bald head male could be coming towards you or there's somebody here that's a bald head male. Somebody's getting background checks on you because they can't dig up any dirt. A red SUV, a car. Somebody has a red SUV, a car, a burgundy. Somebody's definitely having a sneaky link with their co-workers or with their co-worker. They want to have a sneaky link with you. This is one of your co-workers. This could be going on at your workplace. Karmic uh, masculine here is under judgment. All right. This karmic masculine was trying to sleep with somebody here, whether it's the same sex or not. This karmic masculine was trying to sleep with somebody here to give somebody some sort of STD or to attach some sort of spiritual entity onto you or them. All right. Mm, family lies and secrets are all exposed. What's going on here? Let me see. A couple more messages for you guys. Somebody watching this video, they did steal your property and inheritance. All right, maybe you'll never know about it. Maybe they'll never tell you. But the Lord is going to gift you with another uh, blessing that you can have this property or home that you want. Or the Most High God is making you successful because they stole from you. So you can still have what you want. All right, some of you guys are going to go ahead and get a lawyer, an investigator, and investigate the situation. And might get your answers and might get this home back. Because that is definitely a possibility for somebody watching. The eagle eye, some of you guys have like uh, an intuitive uh, third eye that you could see through people's eyes and you could see their darkness. Eagle eye is significant or the eagle. Confession is coming. Somebody, you need to get a tiger eye crystal. Somebody's going to confess. Somebody's name could be crystal. All right. I heard Catherine. Katie, Catherine. Tanya or Tania. Tanisha. Moving away, starting over for a peace of mind. Because if somebody's confessing something, you get to move away and start over for a peace of mind. God is going to remove this person from, from blocking you or hindering your life. Yeah, somebody's always stalking you, but that's, that's nothing new here. 
The angels are guiding you. The ancestors are working with you. 333, 711, 1111. You could be seeing those numbers, 777. For some of you guys, you feel betrayed because you found out the truth about your real father. You found out the truth about your family's lie and secret, all right, that they had in your life to try to hinder you because they knew you were the golden child. They knew who you were growing up. Yeah, somebody still loves you very much, and they're coming to reconcile with you. They're coming to reunite with you. They're coming. They don't. They don't care what it takes to make this up to you because they want to tell you that they had an awakening and they need your spiritual guidance. Blowing up in the in the major spotlight. This was destined. The golden child energy. I can't make it up. I'm gonna leave it right here. I love you guys. If you need a personal reading, reach out to me. My email is down below. I love you guys so much. Till the next time, my loves. Thank you for your love, support, and donations for booking readings with me. All right, I'm still working on the product. Um, the labels should be coming in this week and, and the containers, bottles, and all that packaging material that I need. And I'm excited about that. So thank you guys for your support and love. Till the next time, my loves, namaste.